Hello everyone, I am Professor Pawan Padra. In this video, I will explain how to solve the problems on isometric projection. The problem statement is a square prism of base side 40 mm, height 50 mm is placed centrally on a rectangular slab of sides 100 into 60 mm and thickness 20 mm. Draw the isometric projections of the combination. This is the isometric view. This is the orthographic view. This is the front view. And this is the top view. Now I have to draw this one. This is the conversion factor 0.8164. Suppose I want to convert 10 mm, actual 10 mm into isometric 10 mm, multiply by 0.8164, you will get 8.164. This is 8.164 is isometric 10 mm. I will use isometric sheet to draw this one. This is the isometric sheet. Here all the lines are inclined at 30 degree in this direction also and in this direction also. And this one box is of isometric 10 mm. Suppose from this corner to this corner if I measure this is isometric 10, second box 20, 30, 40 like this. In vertical direction if I want to measure the height of the object from corner to corner 10, 20, 30, 40 like this. If you want to measure 15, from this corner to this corner is 10, next box half of this. So this is isometric 15 it is. Okay. Now I will explain how to construct first object that is rectangular slab of this problem. First I will take one reference point, from this corner there are two lines, two 30 degree lines, one is this one, one is this one. So in this direction I will measure 100 mm, in this direction I will measure 60 mm. Measure 10 boxes, that means 100 mm. 1, 2, 3, 4 like this. From this corner to this corner is 10 mm. From this corner to this corner it is 60 mm. 6 boxes. So measure and draw line. Six boxes in this direction, 60. So from this corner, draw line parallel to this, and from this corner, draw line parallel to this. Now, base of the rectangular, rectangular slab is constructed. Now, height, that is thickness is 20 mm, from each corner, in vertical direction, draw line of 20 mm. From this corner, two boxes. It means 20, 10, 20. Similarly, here also, it is from all the corners. Now, these are four corners of the top face of this rectangular slab. Join it. Next, on the top face, I have to place one more object that is a square prism of base at 40 mm, height 50 mm. So that I have to place it at central, at the center, because they have mentioned it is placed centrally. So first you have to find the center of the top face of rectangular slab. So to find that, see I will measure so this dimension is 100 mm, I will find the midpoint of this, it means 50, 5 boxes that counts here, in this direction also 5 boxes. So join these two points, draw line, thin line. This direction is, in this direction dimensions are 60 mm, to find the midpoint 30, 60 half of half is 30, 1, 2, 3, here also 1, 2, 3, mark these two points and join it. Both are intersecting at this point, this line and this line intersecting here, this is the center. Now with respect to center, I will construct the base of the prism. Base sides are 40 mm. So how to construct with respect to the center? From this center, I will measure 20 in this direction, 20 in this direction, mark here, 40 in this direction, mark, 40, means 4 boxes, here is 40, here it is 20. Now 4 corners, that gives the square box. For example, I will explain here, from the center, 20, 20, 40, Again, 40, 
40, 20. Now this is a square of 40. Same here also. Now I have marked all four points, join them. Now this is a square, means base of the prism is constructed. Now height is 50 mm, from each corner measure height 50 mm. From this corner measure 5 boxes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, draw line. From here also, from this corner also 50 mm, from here also 50 mm, you have to measure 5 box and draw line, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, these are all corners are the top face corners of the prism join them. Now, visible edges should be dark, invisible, should, invisible edges should be light, or else you can erase invisible edges. I'll first, I will take top face. All four edges are visible for us. Now I will take vertical edges of the prism. So one, two, three, four. Fourth one is at the back side. So not visible. That I will erase it now. Now base edges of the prism. One, two, three, four. Front two are visible. Back side are not visible. So erase that. Now top face edges of the rectangular slab. Front two are visible completely. This edge from here to here it is visible. This part is not visible for us after placing the second object. Here also from here to here it is visible this edge. This part is not visible after placing the object. That you can erase it. Now vertical edges. First one, second, third, all three are visible which are at the front. This one is at the back side that is not visible, erase it. Now base edges of the square slab, front two are visible, back side, this one and this one are at the back side, they are not visible, erase it. Okay. Now we can darken only visible edges means which are visible, which are remaining, like this. Dark on it. The final answer will be like this, after darkening the remaining edges. Thank you.